Salutations viewers, my name is Game Dame and welcome back to another one of Game Dame Reacts where we have yet another video for Killer Clowns from Outer Space the Game of how to survive a Killer Clown invasion with its gameplay overview. We've seen some gameplay already, uh, it's basically Dead by Daylight. If I had to give it just like a blank gist of like just kind of like how it works, but there's just a little bit more to it. So let's go ahead and watch the gameplay overview trailer for Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Ah! Killer Clowns from Outer Space the game Fucking puts you loud in the very as large shit. shoes of the clown invaders or that of the nimble humans. Aside from all the killing that'll obviously be going on, obviously what do you do all in this the killing. Game? Hello, I'm Jordan Matthewson. What up, director jo of Alphonic, Jordan Matthew? I'm going to walk you through how to survive a Killer Clowns invasion. As a human, your goal is to escape the invasion with your life. This means you need to locate various escape routes and find the necessary items to open them before Clown Apocalypse detonates. Clown Apocalypse. There are several options when it comes to escapes for humans, all of which are I love randomized that. in placement <laughs> and require a different combination so of steps to open. If you're planning on escaping an invasion successfully, you'll need to perform these necessary steps, all while evading and defending yourself from the killer clowns hunting you down. The town of Crescent Cove is, well, located on a cove. It follows that you'll have an opportunity for water escape, and as it happens, there's a broken down boat docked somewhere in every map. Somewhere, Humans will need to find a spark plug to repair the engine, map. and a gas can to fuel it up. There's only room for three humans on the boat, so if you're in a group of four, you'll have to figure things out. On the flip <laughs> side, if you manage to fix and start the boat on your own, you get to choose escaping alone or risking your neck waiting for the others. If while sneaking around you notice a large concrete structure, you found the bunker, a sealed off safe house escape. Humans will need to find the gas can to power the generator and a special access card to open the door via the keypad. Be sure to prepare for the door opening because once it's open, it's open for a very limited time and only, yeah, room only... For three humans. After that, Not you're out three. of luck and you'll need to find another escape opportunity. Damn, so it's three entry. Damn, the so not everyone the gets a chance Wesker if you have Newton more than found three. found a way to reverse engineer some clown tech, and well, now there's a portal to escape through. Humans will need to find a spark plug and it only have to three people, portal, which needs to be held open for others to escape through. While you can hold it open as long as you'd like, letting go of the portal controls will cause the portal to start closing, but will stay open just long enough for you to slip through. Once the portal fully collapses, a new spark plug is needed to open it. There are several types of barricaded gate exits that can exist around the exterior of I do like Finding how the gate key in will depth give you the they are ability being to with open this, up the gate giving you all the options. derelict escapes. Due to their dangerous state, these gates are barricaded with a wood barrier that needs to be smashed down with melee weapons, which can be extremely noisy. Oh, Once through this no. barricade, you can use the gate key and escape through the precarious exit. If too many humans have tread through these areas, the routes will collapse, preventing any further escape. It's also worth noting that no, have that the is actually to coat crazy. Each of these with cotton candy blockages. This prevents escape progress and must be cleared off before you can continue escaping. Watch out though, because failing quick time events while clearing cotton candy or interacting with escape objects can signal the oh, clowns the, of your presence. The QTE too is ideal, sometimes so things this just is don't go to plan. For sure elevated. The impending clown apocalypse. I am so fucked. Luckily, when there's 30 seconds left in the match, the Terenzi brothers crash through an exterior wall and provide one last escape route. It'll be up to any remaining humans to get there in time and up to the clowns to stop them. At zero seconds, the clown apocalypse detonates, which quickly covers the map and kills any humans that have not escaped. Damn. We here at the studio have been having such an amazing time playing this and developing it, and we really can't wait to release this amazing experience for everyone to enjoy. We hope you have lots of heart-pounding fun and killer clowns invading June 4th. We'll see you guys June there. 4th, that's when they're going to be coming out. So you can pre-order now, and it's going to be on Steam, PS5, and Xbox X and S. I do really like how they do have it limited to three people, like in the bunker, and also for the boats. But they, they still give other options if you have more people within your group. So that way, it's kind of like, like yeah, we left you behind, but you, you have opportunities to go and figure out how to escape even more. So I do love that. But I think this this game is definitely going to be a little scary for me because I don't like clowns at all. But I do think this is a much elevated version of like Dead by Daylight. Like it's at its core, it's like Dead by Daylight. But like there's like what we just saw with the gameplay overview. There's definitely a little bit more to it to make it different and separate it from Dead by Daylight. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you guys like all the escape options uh, available and what one would be your go to. If you had to, if you had to live this situation, 
But that is all the time I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I highly appreciate your time as always. But please do not forget to subscribe and or follow not only to my YouTube, but to my Twitch. You guys know where my YouTube is at. But you can find my Twitch at twitch.tv slash thegamedame. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.